Hi guys, I'm gonna go do a quick run through of this new iOS coming out of Propeller Heads called Figure. It's a really neat little app that will let you create. Well, I won't say create. It's more like playing with some new ideas, I guess. So let's just fire it up. First off, uh, this is actually made for iPhone, but you know, just like every other iOS software, you can actually run it on iPad. So yeah, and if you can see this in the bottom. There is a uh, four tabs. There's a pattern, tweak, song, and mix, and system at the end. And on the top, there is a drum, bass, and lead that just represent like the actual three instrument that you can play around with. And there is the usual transport, which is the rack and the play button. So yeah, let's say let's clear the song just to avoid any horrible thing that I've made before. So yeah. So let's go. If you want to start a song, you go with the. Well, I mean, I usually go with the drum, so you go with the tap, drum tap, and there's a four panel here, which is a basically just standard, uh, kind of like a. This is for your kick drum, this is for your snare, this is for your hats, and this is for your cowbell. You know, and there's actually different sound banks, you know, if you want to go through it, see right here. Um, yeah, technologic, you know. So let's say let's say we make a song. So we go with the rack. And you got the drum going. And you go with the bass. See what's so neat about this is like when you record, you just record any automation, you know, so you want to change the pitch of the song, you just move around, you know, it's just kind of like pretty intuitive, you know, for the touch screen. And then you go with this lead. And then you go with the tweak right here. Yeah, it's a three different one, bite, envelope, and delay. Good. song which is I'm not quite sure what it does actually at this moment but you can change the key shuffle So there you go guys, I just made the very very horrible music just now, you know, um, yeah, so, uh, in principle actually this is a pretty neat program, because you know, you get to mess around, it's really quick, it's very easy, it's pretty straightforward, you know, but of course like, uh, just like every other iOS music apps, you know, you can't really take this seriously yet, you know, I mean like, uh, it gives us a glimpse of what iOS can offer, you know, in the future maybe. But not right now yet, because as for now, this is more like a toy, you know, like, I mean, let's say you make something really cool from this, you can't export any sound, you cannot export any MIDI notes, you know, I mean, like, it's basically it's just stuck in there, you know, so, so at this moment, uh, it's just a toy, it's more like a toy than anything, you know, you can't really take this seriously, but I'd still recommend you getting it, because, you know what, it's 99 cents, man, there's nothing you can lose from this, you know, you get fun, 
for like hours. I mean, I've had fun for hours. I mean, like making really, really horrible stuff, but it's been fun for 99 cents, you know. So, yeah, I recommend, recommend this off, this apps. So, there you go, guys. So, download it at the App Store and have fun. Thank you.